whenever someone dies, dies for what? Her beliefs. In the early Christian church in North Africa, Christians were murdered, persecuted, condemned. Two girls endured it all because they loved God. Their names were Perpetua and Felicity. In the early Christian era, when Saints Perpetua and Felicity, the two women were arrested and imprisoned along with three other Christians in Carthage in 203 AD. Perpetua was 22-year-old nobleman with a son a few months old. Felicity, a slave with a child not yet born. Their crime was defying Emperor Septimus Severus's prohibition of conversions to Christianity because they were not to submit to pagan gods. While the five were being held awaiting execution, Perpetua's father urged his favorite child to save her life and life of her baby by renouncing her faith. But she answered, Father, do you see this pot? Can it be called by any other name than what it is? No. So also I cannot call myself by any other name than what I am, a Christian. Are you a Christian? Yes, I am. Thus, you are condemned to death. A few days before the festival games at which the martyrs would face wild beasts in the Colosseum, Perpetua had a dream in which she was transformed into a man and engaged in unarmed combat with an Egyptian, signifying the devil. I was lifted up into the air and began to strike him as one who no longer trod the earth. I caught hold of his head and he fell upon his face, and I trod on his head. Felicity, meanwhile, had been afraid that she would not suffer with the rest, because Roman law forbade the execution of pregnant women. In, in answer to her prayers, her child was born while she was in prison and was promptly adopted by a Christian couple. Perpetua had managed to convert their jailer to Christianity, and so the captives were treated well in their final days. When the day of the games arrived, Perpetua and Felicity went to the amphitheater, joyfully as though they were on their way to heaven. As Perpetua sang a song of triumph, the guards attempted to force the captives to wear robes consecrated to Roman gods. For Perpetua resisted so fiercely that they were allowed to wear their own clothes. The three male martyrs threatened the crowd, including the procreator, who had condemned them, with the judgment of God thereby enraging the crowd. A wild heifer was sent against the women. The heifer tossed Perpetua, who then got up and helped Felicity regain her feet. Perpetua was unaware that she had been thrown and did not believe in it until Felicity showed her the marks on her body. Having survived the animals, the women were sent to be executed. They exchanged a final kiss of peace. A nervous gladiator tried to kill per Perpetua, but failed to finish the job until she guided the knife towards her throat. Although the execution in the Colosseum was intended as entertainment, some of the spectators, inspired by the martyrs' fearlessness, converted to Christianity. These women are individuals who we can all learn something from. Their devout faith in God made them not only martyrs, but women we should aspire to be.